2024 is upon us. However, many of you are buying your new TVs right now before CES, which is only a few days away. And many of you are looking at Costco, or at least many of you should be. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is about Costco and is it a good place for you to buy your next TV? As I mentioned, it is only a few days into 2024. CES is only a few days away. This will be the last video where 2023 models are the main focus. I've done Best Buy walkthrough videos for years and obviously recommend buying through them and our good friends in New York, Robert and Wendy at Value Electronics. But Costco Costco is there for another group, a group that can walk in locally and buy something. Now, Costco has a good amount in store. There's even more on the website, but we'll be focusing today primarily on what you can go into their brick and mortar locations. Yes, there is a membership included, but what makes Costco such a great choice is they do have some high-end TVs I mean, and they do have a good selection and they also have the best return policy in the business, which I'll also show you an example of at the end of the video. But also what this video does show you is those of you that are looking last year to buy your TVs, you will have a finite time window to do that. You won't have as long as you had even a few years ago. The inventory for last year's models is dwindling year after year. The year before, the TVs weren't available as long and expect this year, especially the star of this video, the most recommended TV in this video can't even be ordered um, anymore. So check out the video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, let's do it. Here we are at Costco in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Showing you the TVs when you first walk in. Now, these are your lower end models. Probably my biggest complaint other than a Samsung kiosk right in the front, which has the QN 85C, one of the best TVs in the store. You do have these lower end TVs kind of littered throughout the front of the store. And why I want to point these out is for a lot of people shopping at Costco, you are kind of getting bombarded with the lowest end models in the store. People tend to grab these, which is fine, simply because they're big sellers for LG, Hisense, and Samsung. However, they're not really TVs that we would recommend for picture quality in terms of lower end backlight or backlight at all. Local dimming is typically compromised. They're very basic. So we get past this part, we'll get into the higher end and my favorite TVs in the store. There's only a few of them and you'll see me hop around. It's not always comfortable for me to film in these locations. The CU 7000 is a very popular model. Um, if you're going to get into that entry to mid ces is only a few days away i'm packed and ready to go but this is my last video for 2023 why i say that is because for me ces is actually the beginning of the tv year so that'll be my first official 2024 tv video now costco years ago had higher end models and then they completely disappeared they followed the likes of sam's club and bj's at least in store where there was only really a certain level for a while that was actually the vizio p series as their highest end tv here we are looking at a qned which is making a comeback this year we'll see that in a moment excited that they're going to be refocusing lg on the qned lineup i think that was really a wasted opportunity on um, their tvs were actually quite good as you'll see a little bit later in the video go against the x90l And there you have the LG C3, another excellent TV and one of the top TVs here. Now there's only a few higher end TVs, but for a while there, they went from offering a high end Vizio to a smaller uh, LG, I think at the time was probably a C8, and then that was it. 
So if you did have to return something, typically there was nothing to switch it out to because there were so few options. Now we have many more options or more options, I should say. But what I'm showing you here is pretty much the state of the store, how it's set up, how it's laid out. Hard to recommend a lot of the models you're seeing in the very front of the store. But that's where they get those people that walk in that say, okay, grab a TV, here we go. And that's what I kind of observed as I was there filming. Now, it's not always easy or comfortable for me to film in these stores. I'm a big guy walking around. Not everyone wants to see somebody filming. So that's why it's kind of got that Cloverfield Blair Witch handy cam feel. Now, the main advantage to Costco, as I mentioned before, is there's a, you know, Hisense right there. It's not a UAK or a U7K or even a U6. Uh, QNED in the background is their return policy is the best in the business. No questions asked. And you'll see an example of that as a family was bringing back a TV. As we feature our first high-end TV in the store is a QN85C. This is one of the best TVs year after year since the 85A. It comes in under the 90, except many times it looks better or more saturated, and the off-angle viewing is excellent. I'm looking to review these TVs next year, as you see my shopping cart kind of incognito pushing around the store. But I'll definitely try to review TVs like this next year from both Samsung, Sony, and LG. I'm in the process of trying to work that out for you guys. TVs that our friends at Value Electronics aren't going to carry. But the 85C is always an excellent option. As I mentioned, very bright, good off angle viewing. You see blooming is minimal. And it's kind of the low key best TV in Samsung's LED lineup year after year, at least since the 85A, I believe was the first model they released. It used to be 6, 7, 8, then they started doing Q in 95 and 85. And again, great price, 85 inches, very bright TV. Moving over to the LG C3, another excellent TV. We're going to illustrate in a minute why the C3 got hit this year. No MLA, which is fine. However, the S90C um, at the same size, now that's a 55. The S90C is closer to the 55 price than the 65 price. They do have more sizes and they do present very well in store. Their demo material is there versus the other TVs that are showing that Costco blue screen that you see in the corner, which puts the TVs at a disadvantage. You'll see that with the A80L, which is clearly in retail mode. The LG C series, the ones that you see here are not in retail mode. That's why they look so good. It's right next to an A80L. Now you have the differentiate um, Costco numbers next to an X90. Now as I pan up to the X90 which is on the left and the A80 which is on the right, look at the difference in price here. Now it's a 77 inch. But as I pan up to the TV you'll see how blue the A80L looks in store. Now look, WRGB OLEDs will pull blue on camera. However, these are in Vivid which means they're also in their coolest preset which again is a disadvantage, not for the X90L, which looks fine. It's cool, but it makes the um, A80L look like it's frozen. So it's a very blue. That's not how they look in person. You see me compare these TVs together. Um, A80L, one of the best TVs of last year, and it's my personal display. X90L, one of the most popular TVs of last year. That was entry into XR Clear. Now you have a 70 here. Typically, I don't recommend anything under the 80 series for Samsung as they do drop off quite a bit in quality in the last few years. And there's just a random kind of TCL here. Now, I've talked to TCL and Hisense over the years, uh, at least starting last year, I should say. My biggest criticism of them, and there's a star of the show, the S90C, is them not having a larger store presence, which they do now. But you can see that within, look how reasonable that price is. Um, within store, uh, at Best Buy, they have kiosks now, but in these Costco's, they still are the cheapest brands, uh, seem like a Walmart. Now, the S90C is probably our most recommended TV of last year. It is the highest end. It's a QD OLED, 
literally very close to the S95C, which has the one connect box, but the S90C's performance and value has never been seen. Meaning you don't lose 120 Hertz down to 60. Now there you have the A80L on the left and the S90C on the right. The brightness is evident. What's hard though for many of us filming these TVs at the same time is the A80L is gonna push blue and QD OLEDs will push that reddish magenta kind of color. And obviously the demo quality is not great here. <laughs> so I'm watching some people work out in their Peloton. Now there's the difference in price. AEDL being more expensive, WRGB OLED versus a QD OLED, as I take my cart, <laughs> being cheaper. Very hard to recommend a WRGB OLED over a QD OLED. The only reason why we did that this year with the AEDL was the AEDL's picture quality and XR Clear. Pushed it past the C series, where the C series had very good processing, but it was hard to recommend that over the A, um, I'm sorry, the S90C, I should say. You can see how it's pushing red. It is not like that in person. I wish they were a little closer together. And look for me to also review in person the S90 version next year. Now, why the S90, I brought it up as the star of the show, is this would be the TV I recommend for most people going in, especially a lot of people like Tizen. Us as reviewers don't like it because it's hard for us to navigate while we film. But this TV was not something I could even order through Value Electronics. So what I mean by that is once they had their allotment, they weren't able to order more at a certain time. I couldn't even get a 55 to review because they were out of them. Uh, 77 inches are gone. They've been gone for the last month or so. So if you see them in store, that's all there is. There's a random LG there. One of the other LEDs, non mini LED. But why is that important? Because a lot of you that are waiting, meaning here we are at CES two days away and the S90 is already unavailable at 77. That TV is gone. So only if it's in store is it there. They said they haven't had it in this store in the last month or so. So that's a little disconcerting, meaning that last year's models, which we recommend to you guys all the time, are already gone. So you're not gonna have as much time to really uh, do your research into the next year. So around CES is when you're gonna have to look to buy last year's models. As we look at the great LG kiosk here, they do a great job in store. Better job here at these kiosks than some of the best buys that I see. So in our buyer's advice, um, you want to do your research as long as you can, but there is this weird period where you're going to pull the trigger. Now we know, say, the G4 is going to have MLA. Perfect example. The C series is not going to have the new processor or MLA. So for me, the C3 now becomes a buy if you really want LG. The problem was the C3 wasn't much better than the C2. There's my cart. Left it in the middle of the aisle. I'm going to be going back to the S90 a lot because it was a killer this year. Because it adds all the gaming features, anything you could want, they had. As I mentioned, Costco's return policy, 90 days, no questions asked. You'll literally see a family wheeling in a TV on a dolly at the end of this video, which would be a Hisense. Can't do that anyplace else. Now, what I was gathering, the front desk wasn't exactly happy about that. Now, here we're looking at the Sony X80. I'll also try to get this reviewed for you next year as well. Because it is a very popular model. But this is where you would lose XR Clear. And a lot of times, the backlight is not nearly as good as the next model up, which would have been the X90 this year. And again, the numbers are slightly different. Something like the S90 would be S9D, as in Def Leppard. And there's Hisense again. You'd want to see the higher end, at least the 6 or the 7 here. Now you also have this Allstate insurance you can add, but it's not really necessary. What I mean is you have the 90 days, and then typically Costco will cover you for another year. And then you have the year manufacturer. So you're pretty covered for a while. 
The TV that was returned at the end of the video, no box, just the remote and the plug, and they said here, and you're a member. And the memberships I listed in the beginning, they are worth it uh, if you shop there. I keep the membership simply because I film two or three times a year, so that's why I have the membership. I really don't buy much from here. I don't buy TVs and return them and review them. Again, look how terrible the AEDL looks there with the cool you know, mode, and then the C-Series looks great next to it. Now the QNED, um, as we mentioned, LG is bringing it back this year, and I'm thankful for it because it actually does look very good compared to the X90L. Now keep in mind the X90L is not showing any demo material. There's my cart. But it was a missed opportunity. They had an 8K model, 86 inches. I hope they really go after it this year with QNED. Give us also more to discuss throughout the year. And more importantly, giving you guys as many options as possible. And there is the very popular X90L. I'm not going to call them by their Costco names. But the QNED looks good here. It's a much better TV than the Nano Cell that was before. Now quickly I'm going to look up and show you why I also like TVs at Costco as they come in on these massive pallets. It's safer that way. They come in bulk nine ten at a time so the top tvs here we're looking at the x90l from sony a80l from sony qn85c from samsung being the led and the s90c from samsung those are the main options lg the qned and then lg's c3 now I'm just showing you some random monitors. Here's this ultra wide. I don't think this is the QD OLED as it looks very dull, um, but it's priced pretty high. Their Odyssey numbers are very uh, inconsistent. They're all named Odyssey, but we're gonna see some of these at CES. But I love showing the fact that they have a lot of monitors here, a lot of sound bars, they have receivers. They have a lot to offer. Now online, they also have short throw projectors and other TVs. I love this LG Ultrawide. I'm gonna try and grab one of these actually. But the reason why I don't show what's on the website is one, you can do that yourself. Uh, but two, that changes so often. And they've been a little fuzzy on the return policy. I asked them in store, they said you can bring anything in from the website and return it. I'm not sure what that is is I'm basically focusing on the physical part of it because this is something that I think you should be able to do yourself is always walk into a store and see what's there. So they have short throw projectors and other higher end TVs on the website, but that changes so often where I'd recommend it to you and then it's gone. At least in store, I know it's there for a while. Again, drones, PCs, they have pretty much everything tablets now at the end of this video i'm going to show you a family that i kind of cropped out so you can't see them i just want to show you the state of how they were bringing that tv back i'm not making fun of that what i'm showing you is that you can actually bring them back you cannot do that at best buy i don't think um, and they didn't have the receipt what they do have is their record as a member that says hey i bought this but best buy wouldn't allow you to bring it in with no receipt no box even if you're an elite member, I think you'd have a hard time doing that. And there they go. There's the Hisense. All right, guys, I'm Brian. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at CES. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Love you guys. Take care.